Can you imagine someday seeing an advertisement that looks like this? Or how about one like this? On a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 means unbothered, don't care, or indifferent, and 10 means bothered, upset, or uncomfortable. How would you score your reaction to seeing these two advertisements? According to a report by the Washington Post, it turns out that a Virginia yoga studio actually tried a 9-11 Remembrance Day sale. They subsequently got pelted with criticism. Several Twitter users called the studio out for its insensitivity. One said, over 3,000 innocent people died 13 years ago, and you want to celebrate with 20% off yoga? This is done in poor taste. Another said, you wanted to sell something off of the deaths of innocent people. Everyone knows what date it is. It's called 9-11. And still another pointed out, you're attempting to make money off a tragedy. That's not patriotic, that's straight up greed. You suck. Meanwhile, a Facebook user wrote, You know what your original promotion popped up next to in my newsfeed? My friend's photo of his dad who was killed in the Pentagon. I don't care that according to you, you work seven days a week and posted this at 1 a.m. There's still no excuse for such a spectacular lack of judgment. When you combine these remarks along with the reader comments that appear below the Washington Post story, it's plenty clear many people experience a strong negative reaction. In fact, one of the yoga studio owners said she was surprised by the backlash to the promotion, comparing it to the fear surrounding the video of ex-Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice striking his then fiance inside an elevator. She told the Washington Post, quote, I didn't realize people would be so roar, you know? It's like that man who punched his wife. I mean, that's upsetting, but I think it kind of gets blown out of proportion, unquote. But perhaps the real twist to this story rests with another and more important realization. It's not surprising. The owners were surprised. After all, people in the United States have been long condoning similar sales, like Memorial Day sales and Veterans Day sales, seemingly without so much as a murmur about it. Even more telling are the results of the following Google searches. First, the Boston Marathon Bombings Day sale with no results. Second, the 9-11 Remembrance Day sale with one result, which was harshly criticized. And third, the Memorial Day sale with a whopping 385,000 results. It's irony. How can a 9-11 sale be insensitive, but a Memorial Day sale not insensitive? Let's put this into perspective. The very thing that makes the 9-11 sale so insensitive is the very same thing the men and women of the U.S. military have fought and died for throughout the history of this country. Namely, to secure and protect our freedom and to live in a nation of the people, by the people, for the people, as expressed in Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. While it's true the 9-11 attack and the Boston Marathon bombings violated this cherished value in spectacular fashion, it's also true that Veterans Day and Memorial Day represent the foundation upon which this value was originally built. So how can one be insensitive and the other not insensitive when the insensitive one wouldn't even exist were it not for the already established presence of the other? In this context, the owner's statement and her accompanying surprise is a logical outgrowth of the lack of aversion to a Memorial Day sale. She's not the one that's being inconsistent here. And really, anyone who promotes such a sale is no more insensitive than the people who allow it, without so much as a whisper against it. For the sake of consistency, as opposed to the now current mixed message about what's socially acceptable and what's not, there are two possible remedies at the public's disposal. Not the government, mind you, but the people. One remedy is to allow all such sales, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, 9-11, Boston Marathon Bombings Day, and any others that can be likewise concocted to exist without dissent from anyone. It may not be the morally upright thing to do, but at least we'll have a uniform stance, even if it requires the hard-boiled concession 
that capitalism takes a backseat to nothing and no one. The second possible remedy is to campaign against all such sales with the ultimate aim of finally putting an end to this practice. It's a social influence proposition and it comes at a time of unparalleled opportunity given the advent of the internet and social media. This idea proposes that events like 9-11 and the Boston Marathon bombings should remind us Memorial Day is not about what we can buy or consume, but rather it's what we can keep and protect, which is an altogether different sort of mindset, one that's committed to exclusively keeping Memorial Day in honor of our fallen. Please join the campaign to make the Memorial Day sale a thing of the past. Tell them, just don't do it. Help keep Memorial Day sale-free 